Welcome everybody, thanks for joining me again today. I'm Alistair and this is a very windy Highland Hikers. So as I said, very, very windy today and I'm specifically out today because of the wind. Um, the mountains up north are no-go areas. It's beyond gale force, there's uh, a lot of rain forecast, so I've kind of come south and I really want to try getting out and seeing what gale force winds are like on my own on what should be a very, very easy hill. So it's a bit, probably a wee bit of a silly idea why would you come out in this kind of weather, but um, I've never experienced it and I wanted to try it um, just to, to know what it's like and so that if you're ever considering doing something, you can see why it's probably not a good idea. So today I'm at Tinto, uh, you can see that just behind me. Um, really, really straightforward hill. I think it should be up and down this in about two hours. It's a really, really good path, the full way. And yeah, basically that's why I've, I've chosen this one, even though it's blowing a gale right now. Um, so yeah, you'll get to see what that's like. And uh, you'll also get to see the top and me bag and other Graham. So we'll crack on from here. See you soon. So the first thing you're going to notice about walking in really strong wind is just how cold it makes you. So the forecast says it should be 7 degrees just now, but with the wind chill it is almost freezing, it's saying it's 1 degree and it is absolutely Baltic. I've got my hat on, I've got my gloves on already, I think I'm a few hundred yards from the car park, you can just imagine what that's going to be like much further up the hill. So yeah, you're going to have to be prepared for the conditions, regardless of where you go. Another thing about walking in these conditions is the wind just makes it so much harder at points. I'm going up the hill and the wind is just, it's a headwind, it's coming straight towards me. It's making it a wee bit more difficult than it should be, but it just means going down is probably going to be a wee bit quicker. But oh, you can just imagine just how worse this would be the higher up. And as I continue the ascent, it just feels like it's getting worse and worse and worse. So oh, I don't know what it'll be like at the top, but we'll soon see. Almost at the top, came to up a really steep bit there, and when I got to the top, the wind was disgusting so bad that it was almost blowing me, kind of trying to blow me off the side of the mountain. Woo, that's the strongest it's been so far. Another thing, especially, you notice that when you're up a uh, kind of much steeper incline. That's the words I'm trying to think of. And you uh, need a wee bit more breath. So I, I can sometimes be really hard to get a lung full of air when you're, the wind's blowing with such ferocity. Oh, you almost have to move your head away from it just to suck in that air, keep you going. Woo! Some up ahead in the, in the clouds, unfortunately. And the cloud is moving very fast. So almost there, and then I'll be straight back down. keep it short and sweet up at the top of Tinto now which is a 711 meters tall it's a Graham also a Donald's it's another ticked off the list for those it is utterly blowing a gale I'm a wee bit sheltered over this side of the, the summit here which you can see behind me it's massive absolutely huge but trying to walk up to that bit oh my goodness man it's 
you know, you're having to lean right into it just to get there, man. And uh, one last thing about this kind of gale force wind weather is that even when it's not raining and it's just cloudy, you're starting to get soaked. You know, the wind's blowing it right hard against you, man. And my trousers are starting to get a wee bit wet. And you're thinking about putting the waterproofs on. Um, but yeah, if it starts raining in this conditions, man, oh, it's going to be horrible. The, wind, uh, the, the rain's going to be coming at you horizontally, which is not going to be pleasant in the slightest. I'm pretty sure my camera lens is already getting soaked just now, even though it's not raining. So I'm going to head back down. It's not going to take me long back to get back to the car, thankfully, um, and uh, warm up a wee bit and get out of this horrible clag. So that's me back at the start, back in the car for some shelter, wait right out the, the wind and, uh, you know, heat up a wee bit. Gonna grab a wee sandwich before heading back down the road. So, yeah, hopefully, I know this kind of looks like a bit of a do as I say, not as I do kind of video, but I kind of feel, hopefully I'm experienced enough to be able to go up a, a mountain like that. It is really, really straightforward. I've been up and down that in an hour and 40 minutes. The path is massive. It's it's really easy to follow, it's good underfoot, so I didn't feel like I was taking any unnecessary risks. Um, but if you were to take these conditions and, you know, head up a mountain, uh, you know, certainly like something like Nevis, you know, oh my goodness, you're talking an extra 600 metres above this thing. And, you know, you can just imagine how much worse it would be, you know, the orders of magnitude as you, you get higher up and further north as well, you know, it's always going to be a wee bit more iffy. And yeah, so hopefully this is something you can, you've looked at and gone, right, okay, maybe I was considering heading out in some, you know, questionable conditions, uh, but now maybe rethink that plan um, and, and, and go again another day. The mountains aren't going anywhere, so uh, we should have plenty of time to get up them. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Tinto, really, really easy hill. I wish I had a view at the top, but you know, such as such as life but uh, yeah hopefully you've enjoyed it give us a wee thumbs up if you have and we shall see you for our next walk <laughs>